Alright folks, thanks for tuning in to GregoryCooper.co.uk um, also on YouTube and on Instagram at I am Gregory Cooper. Um, basically today's short video is all around smoothies. It's about eating clean and what you can do with your smoothies and what I do with my smoothies. Hopefully this inspires you. Thanks for tuning in. This is my smoothie for today. Check it out. So today's smoothie is, as always, packed full of a lot of goodness. Um, I try my best to eat clean, and that's from breakfast right the way through to bedtime, um, pretty much. Um, just cutting out all the kind of rubbish. Um, Trying try my best to stay clear of chocolates. Um, I really only have one coffee a day now. Um, I do love coffee, so I have to have at least one coffee. So um, I'm trying my best. Listen, I'm not here to um, you know lecture people on uh, what is good for you and what isn't. Um, you eat what you feel your body tells you to eat, what you like to eat. But if you want to go down the lines of eating nice, clean, fresh, smoothie type stuff for your breakfast, even for lunch, because it is lunchtime just now, you're in the right place. What I would be saying is there's no right time or wrong time for having a smoothie. And if you check um, throughout my um, you know, YouTube channel, especially if you go back, um, there's lots and lots of videos and inspiration uh, smoothie based on my Instagram. Um, definitely, there's no time, uh, no bad time. Um, get a smoothie into your day that's what I would be saying at least a day and what I also said um, my, my, my parents were here at the weekend visiting and I was trying to tell them that look you don't need to just make a smoothie and drink it there and then you can make it take it with you go take it with uh, to your workplace take it to the gym with you um, put it in the car um, albeit if it's really really warm you don't want a smoothie sitting in a hot car but um, I live in Scotland for goodness sake so you know what I mean I'm not going to have issues with smoothies going hot in the car um, another good thing is um, when you're making your smoothies like here we've got frozen pineapple chunks frozen mango I like to use these because um, out of these fruits uh, it's easier and much more convenient for me to have chunks of pineapple ready that I can just take out of the freezer and put into my smoothies that works brilliant for me listen if you want to go down the fresh route brilliant do that no problems um, but what I would be saying is that then keeps your smoothie cool. All right, so today let's go through what I'm doing today and hopefully this inspires you. Over here you'll see chia seeds. Over here you'll see super uh, super blend powder. It's basically greens. Um, it's all types of greens. Um, we've got things like wheatgrass, pea, protein, barley grass, spinach, ginger, spirulina powder as well. So it's, it's packed full of goodness. Um, so I've got two teaspoons of that, two teaspoons of chia seeds, so in it goes, in goes the powder. Um, already in the thing I've got natural yogurt, I've got blueberries and I've got lots of grapes. Again, just bring them all in. Um, to spice it up, I'm going to add some chilli, that is fresh chilli. It's going to absolutely burn, but I've done this before and it really, really tastes good and it's something different. Um, have some celery and when you're making it make sure to pack it down in then in goes the frozen pineapple for extra sweetness the grapes are nice and sweet as well I've not put a banana in this one today I just want to go with all this because I use bananas in most and then we're going to top it up with apple juice and that has been measured to perfection then we put the lid on it and we go blast it up. So I'm using the Breville, um, I think it's called Active Blend or, or Blend Active, one or the other. But I've had this wee gadget for about four years. It cost me roughly about 30 quid. I got two of the larger size, um, you know, tumblers here. There's two smaller ones that are kind of half size, which to be honest, I, I use for storing natural yogurt and stuff in the fridge as well. So that's quite handy. Um, and then I, I just blast it up. And the amazing thing about this is, 
that once you're done, you just screw off this, take it, give it a wash, and boom, your lid goes on and your smoothie's ready. Just find a couple of other wee bits of keel. Right, so I'll just give it one more wee blast. A quick shake, you can see everything moving about now. Smoothie time! I think I'm going to need to very soon, you can hear it's. I think I've got my money's worth out of this one, so there'll be a new one um, needing to be bought soon. So there we have it. All good. Right. And that's it. That's your smoothie ready. I just take this off. Let's have a taste of it. Actually, I'll put the lid off. Stay with me. I hope you like this. Alrighty, so there is my smoothie all blasted up, ready to go. Let's have a taste. Oh, bang, taste that red chili straight away. Oh no, very beautiful actually. Very beautiful. Not getting a, not really getting a hot kick off it, because obviously the natural yogurt's in there as well, which should soften the blow a wee bit. Mmm. Very good. So there you have it. Hopefully this inspires you folk to go and get yourself a your blender. They're only 30 quid. They're not dear at all. And all you need to do is get creative. Go and buy in frozen fruit, veg as well. I mean, I put all sorts into my smoothies. Tomatoes, celery, um, peas, anything at all, just to get the fruit and the veg into you. As you can see today, it's very much based around fruit. We did have a bit of kale in there, and I also have spinach in my other freezer. And for me, it's all about just getting it into me. It's better drinking these here than sitting eating crisps and chocolate. This here will do me the rest of the day. I might not even get it all finished. If I don't, it then goes back into the fridge, and I'll finish it off tomorrow morning. And then I make another smoothie. It's fun making smoothies. The kids love making them as well. So get the kids involved. If you don't have kids, it's all down to you. Just get your finger out and get on with it. It is smoothie time. All right, folks. Well, thanks once again for tuning in. As always, you can follow us online, Instagram, at I am Gregory Cooper. And of course, via uh, the YouTube channel, Gregory Cooper, you'll find it. Blog site, gregorycooper.co.uk. Tune in. It's just all about me, family life, and eating and stuff. Alright, thanks for tuning in. Have a good day. Ciao for now.